let's say we got all this in here, and you know what? It doesn't look too bad, but looking at this as just the basic gray walls or gray basic elements, uh, not quite what I'm looking for. I want something to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more beautiful, a little bit prettier, depending on how you want it to be, or just more realistic. So you've got the ability to do renders directly inside of Networks, and you have for quite a while. Uh, the last few years, what Autodesk has done is made this use of the same material library that Revit and 3D Max use. So it's, a, it's going to be a little bit more consistent. Now, the one thing with this, though, is let's say I have other work to do today, and I don't want to sit here and wait for it to render. So I can always come over here to say render and tell it to render in the cloud. So I can actually take this and say, you know what, I need this done quickly. And a rendering that might take you know, anywhere from one to two to three hours on my laptop, I can render in the cloud, and I might get that back inside of 10 minutes. So if I look at my current view and I say I want this to be a still image, maybe I want this to be a panorama. You can also do illuminance, but we don't see that that often with construction. Tell it the quality of the render, size of the render, and the exposure. Now, one thing to notice here is though, my cloud credits currently is saying that it requires zero of these. So what that means is that every time you do this, it doesn't automatically mean it's going to cost money. I can actually do these for free. When it starts to get actually a little bit more detailed, or I say I want this to be a really large rendering, then it'll actually tell me how much it's going to cost. So let's say I make a final render at a large scale. It costs me two cloud credits, which works out to be about $2. It tells me how long it expects it will take. That time will adjust depending on how busy things are on the Autodesk server side. So if it's near the end of the month maybe and you have a bunch of companies all trying to hit their servers at the same time, that time might go up. But it's always going to be faster than running it natively on your desktop unless you have like a crazy, you know, rendering rig. It's always going to be faster online. And then this thing, start rendering. And either I just take a look at it after the fact or I tell them to email me when it finishes. And I can always click on this and that opens up the rendering gallery. and I can actually see any of the renderings that I've already put up there. So in this case, for a project that I did the other day, really basic, just online, medium level of detail. And I can look at this from a standpoint of having it be pretty basic there, from having an illuminance so I can get an idea of how much solar uh, energy is hitting the walls. And I can actually make ones that look like this. Now this looks pretty weird right now, but what that actually is, is a virtual reality one. So I can actually send that to my phone and actually look around by moving my phone up and down and left and right and actually see that rendering work out there. So that's one of the newer features that you can actually do with this. So in terms of what we were looking at, so <clears throat> we have a project example here from a specific client. So Sun Construction, or I should say specific person, Autodesk client. So one of the things that they actually felt was that because of their ability to communicate by 3D, by explaining where things went, and in the case of the view that we're looking at, we're looking at the reinforcement, we're looking at the piping that's inside of that, and explaining how all that works, and also as you can see where there's some clash issues right there. So this allowed them to help communicate with their subcontractors. Uh, develop a better construction schedules because they can see where their issues were going to be. And this was a legitimate project. Uh, I think one of the funniest stories I have is from a client that we had where they had, they were printing out, <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> so the, they were actually printing out in 3D the color of the, uh, sorry, color views of the mechanical spaces. And people were kind of thinking it was funny, no big deal, no, not that important. And until they got to the point where they had to actually put in the piping and the, uh, the ductwork in the mechanical space, and it was pretty tight. It was at that point that everybody was coming into the trailer every single morning to look at the renderings, because that actually gave them a, an idea and a view of exactly what was going on. So it's one of those things where people might not see the buy-in or, or see the benefits right away, but once it becomes necessary to really understand a space, they really will jump into that. 